Cowabunga. What a word. If you Google its meaning, you'll find out that it's an interjection that was mainly used by surfers during the 60s and 70s. It was meant to express amazement, enthusiasm, or joy. And I think many of us remember it being a favorite phrase of four young mutant ninja turtles that rose to prominence during the late 80s. However, the origin of the word cowabunga goes all the way back to the 1950s and a very famous children's television show. Folks, I'm talking about none other than Howdy Doody, which actually ran on the NBC television network from 1947 to 1960. Along with Buffalo Bob Smith and Clarabelle the Clown, there was this feller, Chief Thunderthud, whose favorite remark was a very boisterous cowabunga. The writer of the show, who is attributed with originating the word, was head writer Edward Keane. The chief and his daughter, Princess Summerfall, were very popular characters on Howdy Doody. But it is noticeable that neither of the characters were played by indigenous actors. Very typical for the era, and it's easy to excuse the casting of Bill Ekomek and Judy Tyler as saying that's just what they did back then. But that isn't exactly the case. Do you recognize this actor? Well, you probably should because his name is Jay Silverhills and he found a great deal of success playing the Lone Ranger sidekick Tonto on both the big and small screen. Born as Harold J. Smith in Canada, Silverhills was the grandson of Mohawk Chief A.G. Smith and the son of a decorated World War I veteran. Jay excelled in athletics, his favorite being lacrosse, and he was one of the first players chosen to play for the Toronto Tecumseh's when a professional indoor lacrosse league was established by the owners of a number of NHL franchises during the 1930s. Jay was so good at lacrosse that he was inducted into the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 1997. While touring with a lacrosse team in Los Angeles in 1937, Jay was encouraged to do a screen test, and the rest, well, it's entertainment history. Although he is best known as Tonto, Silver Hills appeared in almost 100 films and more than a dozen different television shows throughout his career. And if I'm not mistaken, Jay was the first indigenous actor to be honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. On that day in 1979, Jay was visibly moved, choked up with emotion. Sadly, Jay never fully recovered from a stroke that he suffered in 1974, and over the following years, Jay would find himself hospitalized repeatedly with one thing or another. And on March 5, 1980, he rode off into the sunset for the very last time. He was just 62 years old at the time of his passing. Way too young, gosh darn it. Way too young. Upon learning about Jay's death, his longtime friend, the Lone Ranger himself, Clayton Moore, said this, I am deeply saddened. He was a great man, a perfect gentleman, and a true fighter for the Indian cause. I'm going to miss him very much. Throughout his career, Jay took pride in his portrayal of Tonto. And thankfully, the writers of The Lone Ranger never wrote Cowabunga or similar made-up words into any of Jay's lines. Now, of course, he was famous for the word Kimosabi, an Ojibwe and Padawatomi word that means he who looks out in secret. On The Lone Ranger, it was more loosely translated to mean faithful friend. Speaking of great indigenous actors, has anyone had a chance to watch the Disney Plus series Echo yet? I originally gave it a chance because I knew that Daredevil was going to make an appearance in it, but I stuck around for all five episodes of the series because of Alakwa Cox's incredible performance as Maya Lopez, a Native American who returns to her hometown to better understand her roots. She's just great, as is Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin. Wow, I've just gone all over the place with this video, and to think when I started writing this one, it was just supposed to be about where the word cowabunga came from. By the way, shout out to my friend and co-worker John Eisenhart, who suggested the topic. I guess, at least for me, regardless of its true origin, whenever I hear the word cowabunga, I think of those crazy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And now... I also think about the awesome Jay Silverhills, simply because he ended up being part of a very unique rabbit hole that I went down while researching the word. Alright, now it's your turn. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. 
Did you know that the word came from the Howdy Doody Show? And then, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, maybe even considered subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know the good stuff.